Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another High on Life Missable Achievement Guide and this time we are getting all the Missable Achievements in the game in chronological order so that'll be from the first achievement to the last in every single order so you won't miss anything because there are quite a couple of tricky ones that we do have to do at a particular time in a particular order because if you don't you'll mess it up and you'll have to go through the game again and oh, oh boy we do not want that do we? Hell nah! So then, first up then is going to be just before we start the uh, Nine Talk bounty. So about 30 minutes or so in, after all the tutorial and everything, we're going to start getting our first bounty. So as we head from the house, uh, again, obviously when you're pressing up on the D-pad, it'll tell you where to go, and you will eventually come to the sewers. Now you're going to have to go ahead and speak to Blue Guy and Red Guy. Um, quite a few minutes of dialogue here. Don't think it particularly matters too much what you've got to say. I end up just going with the blue guy because, uh, uh, it kind of reminds me of a Viagra pill. I don't know. Old people like that stuff. So, whatever you decide to go, we will go through anyway. So, press the left stick in to start sprinting. And Kenny's going to keep talking and talking and talking. And eventually, then, when we get to the end of the sewers, we are going to have a chance to, and there's no other way to put this, put a bullet in a kid's head. Now, just to reiterate, when we speak to a woman just outside here, she uh, lets us know that this was her son, and it's not a kid, he's actually 30 years old, so that's nice. But this is the kid, keep pressing the right trigger then. Soon as it blows, eventually, after about three or four times, Kenny will just say, there we go. Are you happy now? And we'll say, well, actually, I'm pretty happy. Now, that is definitely a 30-year-old, I'm telling you, that is not a kid. But anyway, that's all you got to do for... You can actually just go past him. Uh, I believe you can just go past him. And not shoot him, but uh, if you want the achievement, make sure to shoot the kid first. This is just before, just as we're going to start the nine Torg bounty. And then we can just crack on right then. So for the next missable achievement, after the nine Torg bounty, we will rescue uh, Psycho the Knife. Have to go through the whole nine Torg bounty and come back to the house. Gene, of course, he in fact, he will be sitting in the same position for the entirety of the uh, game. So he's not exactly going to move anywhere. But after quite a bit of conversation, and there will always be a few minutes of dialogue every time you come back home, you will get the ability to press the right stick to stab Gene. You don't know what happens? He dies. Well, actually he doesn't. Eventually we get the prompt, press the right stick in to stab. That'll stab him square in the old titty balls. And we'll get the achievement. Again, he'll just sort of clear up and he'll be happy with that. So, uh, well, he won't be happy. Nobody is getting stabbed in the boy bitch. Anyway, that's that one done. So next up is the epic legendary prize. Now, there are two ways you can do this. After the Nine Talk bounty, you can either keep quitting out to the main menu and pressing and basically continuing the game until the robot appears. Or you can wait until later on until you're able to unlock the unknown sector and the human haven. And then you can just keep going back and through the portal until this robot appears. Uh, whichever way you decide to do it, it's it's completely random. It may take you five minutes, ten minutes. It took me about 15 minutes until the robot appeared. After that, it's going to take another eight minutes of him counting down from 100. So you literally might as well just go make a cup of tea or a drink or something. Eventually, when he gets down to number one, um, he'll basically call us a dip Um But we will get the achievement. So, um, yeah. A bit of a double... <laughs> A bit of a positive with a negative right there, but it's the positive of the achievement that we got. Right, so straight after this, now I've done this after the nine talk bounty, by the way, so right after I stabbed Gene in the titty, and immediately after this, we're basically going to get the first part for a starfish is born. So head outside and head slightly right, and you're going to see a yellow guy with apparently a starfish, but that is a fart face, that is basically a fart face butt son. Uh, butt face, fat face, butt face, son. Uh, whatever it is, anyway. So what you're going to do, you're going to speak to, his name's Globo, by the way, the old uh, butt face. You're going to speak to his dad, and he's going to ask us to buy a drum. So from here, we're going to head to the right and up the steps. And as we keep going, we're now going to take a left, heading up the ramp. So basically, if you're wondering, um, you need to do this where it says at the top there, buy the dodge unit. So we have to come to this uh, Mr. Keeps buy and sells pawn shop anyway. Uh, so what you'll have to do, if you're playing the story, you'll have to buy the dodge unit first and then come and buy the drum afterwards. Uh, well, after I mean straight after. You don't have to go out. So make sure to buy the drum right after you buy the dodge unit. And we can now head all the way back to Mr. Buttface and his papa, who apparently has a normal face. What? 
did Daddy make love to? I do not know to get a butt face son like that. But anyway, what you're going to do is obviously head all the way back down. Head to the right. And then you're going to press the left bumper again to speak to El Papa. Old uh, chicken chin Papa. And he's going to say, oh my god, oh that's fantastic. Is that for him? And of course we're going to say, sure. Now, it is vitally important these uh, for the a Starfish is Born achievement that you do them exactly when I tell you to do them. Because if you come by uh, too early or too late, um, they'll be gone and you will have to replay the entire game again. Right, so for the next uh, bounty then, right after you've done all of the previous things, we need to pick our next bounty. This is of course after Nine Talk. Very important here to choose Douglas before Krubis. Now the reason being we need to get Sweezy the gun and you can only, for the Krubis bounty, but you can only get that after beating Douglas. So make sure for the gunning for your job achievement, make sure you choose Douglas before Krubis. Then after you've gone through the whole Douglas bounty and we have destroyed and killed Douglas, here is Sweezy the gun. Again, we will get that achievement anyway, regardless. But for the Mods Please Ban achievement, we need to find five hints for Dr. Gurgler. Now, for the Mods Please Ban, um, as we go over to the right here on, in the fan, press the right bumper to use her special ability. And then we can just jump up and head through the fan, drop down, and do the same thing. Right bumper again, climb through, and just past the TV, right down this poster here, press the left bumper for one out of five. Now, the Mods Please Ban achievement, um, basically, this is all you need to do for that. The rest should come naturally over time. It's for killing enemies, etc. So, after we have gotten through that one, what we can do now is head back outside after we've beaten Douglas. Um, and we can go back to where Globo is and old Buttface son and his dad is. And as you can see then, um, Globo's got a crowd. So, you should have a crowd and that should count then for A Starfish is Born, part two out of five. So, next up, during the Krubus bounty, we are now going to be at the administration services. So about halfway through the level, we're going to get to the administration services. Uh, nope, we're going to go in the administration services. And you're going to speak to Helen here. Now, it is vitally important that we choose the dialogue option. I am your new boss. Okay. Because uh, Sweezy sounds like she's a boss. And I can get on board with that boss. The one who treats me like crap. Maybe I've got problems. Anyway. As soon as Helen stops talking, remember it's the right on the D-pad, I'm the new boss. Now, what you're going to do is head into the left side room where you're going to see three workers. Now, the dialogue choices for the neck for the three workers, so for the next three dialogue choices, do not matter. You can literally pick what you want, as long as you just said to Helen right there, I'm the new boss. We can literally push these guys around uh, by getting them to kiss or beat each other up or whatever. The three dialogue options, again, do not matter. Uh, so once you've got rid of them, again, you should have Sweezy because you've done Douglas before Krubis. Then you should get the Gunning for Your Job achievement. That's how you unlock that one. right -oh. So next up, after we've completed the bounty and we're back home, we're going to go for a Starfish is Born Part 3 out of 5. So once again, head slightly to the right and head towards Globo. And you'll see that this time, all oh, but face isn't there. Now, what you're going to need to do is keep pressing the left bumper and, and keep talking to Globo's dad until you finally cannot. So just keep pressing the left bumper until the left bumper prompt is no longer viable and available. So it may take, I think it's about five or six times you've got to speak to Globo's dad here. And once that's done, that's a Starfish is Born Part 3 out of 5. So immediately, literally immediately from there, what you're going to do is start heading up the ramp. Basically going towards Mr. Keep's shop. But... You're going to see little Stan the Alien, who is selling you... Well, to put it bluntly, he is selling you some alien cum diddly -umptresses. And we are going to need to purchase one, even though he does give it us for free. Um, so if you say, I'll buy some cum diddly -umptress, please, so down at the D-pad, he will give it to us. Um, it'll go into your inventory, but I don't think there's any way you can actually get rid of it. So as long as you've spoke to Stan here, you've got it in your inventory, there's no way you can get rid of it. For, so from this point... It's pretty much unmissable. Right, so this is uh, during the Screndel Brothers uh, bounty. So about, again, sort of about halfway through, you're going to come up to this sort of big main room after you've uh, done the elevator section. And what you're going to do is head right into this room. Let me just show you here. It should have Jonathan Screndel's office. Uh, you're going to need to come here for, store, for the story progression anyway. So what you need to do is head to the left here and push this button. And these are the two 
Dr. Gurgula hints, and there's a button on the right which will basically open up a locked door. So you have to come into this room anyway, but that is where you get the Dr. Gurgula hints. So next up then, after the bounty that we just done, um, the Skrennel Brothers one, uh, we're going to go for a Starfish is Born Part 4. So we're going to head over to the right again. And what you're going to see is nobody here this time. But what you will see this time is a couple of posters. Now, as long as these posters are here, then you are pretty much on the right path and on the right direction. So you should have two posters here. Um, I do turn around and go towards the building basically, well, basically right in front of us now. Uh, it's directly in front of where Globo and his butt face son was. Just by the TV, there should be a third poster. So I have a look at those three posters, just in case. Uh, but that'll be a Starfish is Born Part 4. Right, after you have beaten Dr. Giblets and his whole surviving type mission, what are you going to do? Uh, you ha Again, you have to go through this way anyway to escape the lab. Uh, but we will now get the Dr. Gurglia hint 3 out of 5. So again, you will have to come through this way anyway to escape. But before heading out of this laboratory bit... Make sure to interact with the table here to get Dr. Gurgle a hint. Three out of five. Technically, it's four out of five. Then, after Dr. Giblets is done, we are now going to go for a Starfish's Bomb Part 5 out of five. Providing you have done the rest, uh, all of the Part 4s co correctly, head to the left. Just have a look at the... I mean, that is a hell of a butt mind. I'm kind of jealous. But anyway, uh, this was automatically on my screen because he was supposed to be on late night TV. This is the last time that it is late night in the game. So, again, providing you've done everything correctly before, which hopefully you have, hopefully this guy's been helpful, you will get the Starfish's Born achievement right Yeah, Job done. So, flying through it, boys, right? <laughs> Red. Right, so, next up then, you're gonna need to go to Space Applebee's. Now, this is starting toward, to, this is starting to come towards the end, uh, more towards the end of the game, more towards uh, the Nipulon bounty. Um, but after a long conversation here with Kenny, you're going to see your sister and Tweek outside. But before leaving, highly important here to pay the bill. If you do miss this one, you'll have to replay the entire game up to this point. So make sure before heading outside to your sister and Tweek to pay the bill and get the hell out of it. Right, so after you have beaten Dr. Nipulon, I mean that's a, that's a hell of a set of nips by the way. So after you've beaten Dr. Nipulon and he is lying pretty dead... Turn directly to the left. This is inside Dr. Nipulon's office. So turn directly to the left. There is a lug lock stress there, but right on the wall to the left here is the next Dr. Gurgula hint. So make sure to pick that one up before leaving. Right, after you have um, basically beaten Dr. Nipulon, or <laughs> just regular old Nipulon, what we're going to do now is get the sequel bait achievement. So what we're going to do, a couple of things we have to do. Well, one thing we have to do first. And as you can see, we've only got one boss left, but what we're going to do is go down to Worlds, go to Nova Sanctus, and into Clug's office. And as you will be able to see, there will be not a single person here. No one here, but there is something that we can steal, which of course, you know, always comes in handy. So if you want to steal, steal something good and worthwhile. I mean, just joking, don't steal at all. Anyway, pick up the key card that was on the desk and then head out. So now we are back home, and we are going to use the Bounty 5000 once again. And we're going to go back down to Worlds, and this time we're going to go to Unknown Sector and Human Haven. So, what we're going to do, head through, uh, of course. And now, as you can see, all happy humans, lovely. But what we're going to do, you can see just at the top left there, we're going to jetpack our way up. So we're just basically keep, we're just continuing to climb the tower. So head up to the top right, huh? What's up here? and then it, it seems like you can't get anywhere, but you actually can. So again, just to the top right there, you're going to climb your way up. You should just about make that one. Uh, have a look to the left, and you can see a couple of ledges that we can now flick our jetpack aroni onto. So stick it up, stick it on, stick it there, and then just jump up to the highest level, use the key card, and that is how you get the sequel bait achievement. Now, if you want a bit of a secret, uh, secret, it's not an achievement, but a secret thing. If you go through the fan here, you will actually see Dr. Gurgulon and Mayor Clug, or you can just go back down and complete the final mission. Up to you, but there is a little secret if you go that way. Right, now this Dr. Gurgula hint, you can get pretty much any time, especially after you beat the jetpack. But I've done it now because I actually forgot about it, which is always handy. So what we're going to do, um, I actually headed through the portal, but we are back in Blim City. 
So we need to have a look at Crest Lord right there. And that is the shop that we need to go to, Crest Lord. It is just in the middle of Blim City. So we're going to head up, climb on, get right onto the roof here on Crest Lord, which is just a hilarious name. And if we have a look behind us there, the writing uh, where it says, Don't trust translator microbes. That is the final hint. And that should get you all good for the mods please uh, mods please ban achievement. That's all the rest you got to do. Right, now this is very, very highly missable. So after we have beaten Garmantuous, again, so this is the final boss of the game. Once you have beaten Garmantuous, what you need to do is use any Gatlion other than Kenny to stick it inside the monster slugs, the uh, anal cavity right there. So very important, do not use Kenny, okay? Otherwise you are literally going to have to replay the entire game. I just used Let's Do It. But you can use literally any other gun, once again I said, apart from Kenny. Do not use Kenny. So just to be on the safe side, stick, let's do it, square up that delicious donut hole. Did I just say delicious donut hole? What the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, again, like I said, just I just done let's do it to be on the safe side. Back away so you don't get exploder o -need. Pop! And that delicious donut hole looks more like a Krispy Kreme orange hole, that one, didn't it? But that is how you get the playing favorites achievement, so that one is very missable. You don't want to be doing the whole game again, unless you really enjoy it. And after the credits roll, you should then also get the carried aliens, uh, carried stands uh, alien come diddly umptious, or carried stands load to completion. And that should be that for the missable achievements. Now I will have other guides up for the collectibles and the mods please ban achievement etc so check those out but thank you so much for watching guys and gals i'll see you in the next one i hope this one helped big shout out to everyone on patreon see you in the next one big love